did Code Blue come out with something wild? When you do all that work to escape police and still get caught, is this a chase? On October 23rd, 2022, a <laughs> Lacrosse County Sheriff's deputy was conducting random registration plate checks in Bangor, Wisconsin. He ran the plates of a passing vehicle and discovered it was registered to 29-year-old Ashley Stalsberg. It displayed her driving status to be suspended due to failure mm -hmm. to pay a forfeiture. These are prime K6. As he activated his lights and sirens, his speed increased to 124 miles per hour and noticed her vehicle was still pulling away. Oh, she was just very far. The deputy lost sight of Ashley after a few miles and provided dispatch with a description of her vehicle. Moments later, he observed her vehicle in the ditch and believed she had been involved in a single vehicle crash. Oh, bruh. Approximately 100 is still driving through the ditch right now. Oh, wait, no, this is an evasive tactic. Don't do it, Ashley. She continued through You're the not going to win this chase. The deputy. 10 for it, still driving. Plate. Adam Lincoln Young, 8527, Adam Lincoln Oh, fuck, she's punching it. Oh, boy, she's going for it. Oh, boy. Ashley, come on. You're at such a disadvantage already, though. After a brief pursuit, her vehicle pulled over. The deputy observed smoke coming from the vehicle, believing that it may have become disabled. Thanks for some Jenny. Coming to a stop just north of that intersection. Oh boy. Not even a good chase, Ashley. Driver, let me see your hands! Step out of the vehicle. Damn, she's having a party in there. Get out of the vehicle. Wait till after the track. Get out of the vehicle. Turn around and face away from me. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. I'll explain it to you once I get your custody. Raise your hands. Oh, a bad voice crack. Unlucky officer. Put your hands above your head. Do it now. Pull, up, pull your sweatshirt up with your hands. Turn around. All right. What? Yeah. Is this the I'm officer's music or hers? You were going 100 on 16. Yes, you are. Keep your hands up. Oh, Ashley. Feel comfortable. Ran off and fled into the cornfield. Ashley. Just stay out of the car. I was trying to stop you. Yes, I was. My lights and sirens. Oh boy, she's got some jets though. Oh, I'm foot northbound. Get away from me. <clears throat> oh, that's where the aliens live. They draw crop circles and shit. She's gonna get abducted now. She's running through the right into the cornfield. She's never seen a fucking Shyamalan movie. Ashley! I believe the subject is gonna be the registered owner. She's continuing slowly through the cornfield. I believe she's still... Moving north. Where you go at? She's somewhere right back in here. Okay. I guess go up a little bit and we'll try and. I guess you can just tow her car. Right, She'll just live amongst the corn now. Ashley! <laughs> just come, come out towards the sound of my voice. Come on, Ash. This is silly. You're being silly. A perimeter was set up and the area was checked with thermal imaging and night vision. However, Ashley wasn't located. Yeah. So, I saw her in Bangor and tried to turn around on her because I saw she was suspended. Uh -huh. As soon as she got to 18, around 16, she was flying. <laughs> so I finally did the same direction radar and she went 71. 
So I tried to speed up, and as soon as I started speeding up, she started speeding up. I was 124, and she was going over 100, and then did on a big creek. And by the time I caught up to her, she was in the ditch. I don't know where she would last. Well, let's be. let's get a drone out there. This area would be my best guess. Or a really hungry dog that likes corn. We can yeah, start ran, like, maybe right making a her. dent in the she field. Ran down a little bit, and then ran in probably like there about and I kept I could hear her but then once 805 got here I couldn't hear anything over his engine blue purple hooded sweatshirt jeans and she had a gray leather bag with her like a purse but I don't feel like we ran that far but I don't know I don't really ever run so I had adrenaline going <laughs> what do you mean? isn't one of like the core components of the police academy is like teaching you to run and shit what do you mean you don't ever run Aren't you, like, supposed to do that? You have to, like, keep up with the fitness course or something? Does, does he just, like, skip those days? Post or something? Or no, it's corn. It's corn. Yeah, there's corn in her, on her windshield. It's only for when you join? I either sure like, keep up with it. I look at a DL photo. I haven't looked at that yet, but descriptors matched. Yeah. She's trying to tell me she wasn't eluding, but, you know, when you're going, like, 114 on yeah. Big Creek, I'm pretty sure... You're doing stuff you shouldn't be doing. The the K9 for the county is way over on the other side of the county, and we don't even know if it's available yet because it's Saturday night. Okay. So. I heard. Yep. That's her. It's uh, up to you guys on what you want to do. do you well, there's definitely, run? like, you large, run, overweight run, cops, but that doesn't mean they can't run. She'll, she'll come out. Like, there are people that are on the bigger side of things that can run just fine. Not super fast, but they can run this guy's saying like he can't run. Walking at some right. point. It's up to you though. I mean, we can straight up call K9 or go in and get her ourselves. I mean, she's not going to be able to go very far in here. Right. We're figuring out whether or not they. We got a positive. Things are some geese. It, so it depends on what they want to do. If they want to apprehend her, we'll told, probably yeah. get her walking through there. Why we got a phone number for her. Why don't you try calling her? Okay. <laughs> Ashley, come out of the corn. I think she turned her phone off. It says it can't be complete. In is it in there? Oh. What we'll do is we'll just obviously patrol through here and when she calls for a ride or whatever, as soon as the vehicle's coming through here, I guess we'll see. Alright. Um, is she, you know, at, you know she's a dope? Man, they got G.I. Joe out here. Holy fuck. Beth is her preference. They're going to call in a chopper and get she's someone on the rope. Dope game, though. I think she's only Repelling been down. For a year, year and a half, maybe. Best of my knowledge. Okay. So. Get a hell of I need to get subs, Jenny. Yeah. The recent really, wizard. Yeah, the one booking record with her, Spartans, only got her feeling once, better. I've never gotten her. She, I think she might have been involved in Merkel's pursuit. All this to catch a drunk woman? Hey, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have no respect for drunk drivers. Fuck them. Call the whole force out here. Fuck her. I have zero tolerance for drunk drivers. About 16 hours later, a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy attempted to locate her at an address. While en route, the deputy observed a vehicle pass him and noticed the female driver look away at the same time. He ran the vehicle plates and discovered it was registered to the same address where they were going to attempt to locate her. What a coincidence. By looking at a Scripted. past jail booking photo of her, the deputy believed it to be Ashley, so he conducted a traffic stop. Sergeant Oswald from the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping is for your traveling 63 into 55. Ma'am, were you in a cornfield last night? Going 60? Do you know what the speed limit is here? I can't hear you. Do you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? Step out of the vehicle. What's that? You are stepping out. 9 to 17. You want to head this way. You do have to step out. I have a right okay. to a lawyer and Not a cornfield. Speed, one reason why I'm stopping you, but I believe uh, La Crosse County wants to talk to you. So I need you to step out of the vehicle now. No. You do need to step out. Am I under arrest? Yes. Step out of the vehicle. Really, dude? Step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest. Get out. Uh, yeah. Right now. Seriously. She's about to put the pedal to the metal, officer. Step out of the vehicle now. Hope you've done some hamstring stretches.
be reaching in your purse. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out. Oh, I thought she was going to go for it. Damn it, Ashley. Unlucky. No cornfield nearby. And couldn't make it to the paint shop. How'd she get out of the field? She probably just stayed there all night. <laughs> like, what do you mean? She probably literally just slept there. She was drunk. Oh, yeah, she absolutely just passed out there. No, she got another car. Yeah, she, so my guess would be she went into the cornfield, literally passed out, slept there all night, then walked back. She had her phone because they tried calling her to get out of the cornfield. She called someone she knows to ask for like a car or a ride or something. They brought the car and she drove that. That's my guess. Thanks for gift sub, Jenny. Phone was in the car. Did they say that? I, oh, I must have missed that part because they tried calling her. I assumed it was in the on her person. The other cop said it was in the car. Oh. Then that is even more confusing. Yeah, I don't know how she got out, got a car all within 16 hours, and still somehow didn't make it home in time. Thanks to Resub Eubanks. That was her evil twin. The other lady got eaten by coyotes. Honestly, it's possible. Is she wearing the same thing here, I wonder? Let's see. Now I'm curious. This is kind of interesting, though. How she fucking managed... No, it's a different item. It's a different uh, outfit. Because 16 hours, I imagine they stayed here for a long time. And they, they took her car. Damn, she must have had, like, an actual backup plan. What's up, Captain so Robert Fergal? Let's see what the situation is. <laughs> <laughs> what a Boy, stupid a last guy. name. What's going on? Hey, what's up, lady? It's me, Officer Fergal. No, I'm not a Saturday morning what cartoon character. I'm real. He gets to raise you don't fuck with the Fergal? About two hours, right? This shirtless guy looks yeah, like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse okay. Kingpin. I wasn't gonna evict him, but I just can't take any more. That's the Clash of the Titans. Captain Fergal versus Kingpin. And J. Jonah Jameson wants pictures. What is this? Where do they live? A junkyard? Why is there like 50,000 cars surrounding them in an RV? Fergal! The boy! Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Are you crawling under that dude's house? I don't think you are or anything, but holy shit, it's a demon. Alright, well that answers that. But you didn't go in his yard or anything hey, you like that. Just you mind if I hop in that set with, with you? Alright, cool man. I appreciate it. Rest up. Get some water. <laughs> Thanks, right, Fergal. So, well, I gotta run with that for right now. Another case busy. solved. Thanks to Officer so, Robert Fergal, baby. He said he's doing lunges and that's that goes along with what Milk expired said two months ago. Want to know if it's safe? So, you dial 911, you ask for Fergal. Solving the real cases. Doing what everyone else fears to do. Uh, it's just my family motto. Just one of the Fergal clan. 
Damn, I was hoping for another Fergal. I wanted a double header. Fergal would have already solved this by now. This is just embarrassing. And they probably just like do this to get the other boys some reps because they already know if they call Fergal, that shit's getting solved like that. Take any medication? Yeah, my meth. Prescribed by the doctor. You can call him and ask if you'd like. His name's Heisenberg. PhD. They should have let, you know, I, I should really give a and &E a, a couple of tips. They should have it set up so you can search by officer. I want to follow some of their anime arcs, like Fergal, fucking Sergeant Hoss Boss Man, or whatever the fuck his name was. I think it was Felipe Boss. Like, I'd like to see what they're doing. 35, so. You know who we haven't seen in a long time, pretty much since the first live PD night, is Officer Nathaniel, the officer that just wanted some pussy. From the drunk driving girl, the one that parked at the McDonald's and forgot where she was and what she was doing there, and then he goes inside and orders her a cheeseburger because he wanted some pussy, and then let her go. We haven't seen him in a long time. I think he might have got fired for that. There's so many characters that I'd like to keep up with. They really should order be allowed to filter these by officers. Hey, she's doing scratch offs. She's definitely on meth. God, the worst and most vile shit happens at Burger King. That's all it's good for now. Meth, rape, and shit food. Welcome to Burger King, baby. What are you in for? Thank God they got out of the bathroom when they did. Three patrons were about to go in there sick with food poisoning because they accidentally ate Burger King. You been shoplifting? No, I got that from my friend. You did? <laughs> my friend's a, a vino dealer. You didn't go in there? My friend likes if a vino a lot. Be on camera, tell you what. Fergal busts you through the wall. Bolts yeah. Bolts I sense a mystery. Yeah. Well, you put socks on. That's it? Yeah. Alright. Alright, you're free to go. You have poor taste and things to steal. Quick. I don't care anymore. You can take it. What, uh, it's all Officer handled. Danny fucking Brown. We, we took care of what a guy. Alright. Sound fair? Yeah, I gave it. So, it's been taken care of, brother. You don't have to worry about it. You're all legit now. That is and, uh, incredible. Okay. All right. Seems that this guy really had an impact. What is this esports lounge? He took care the fuck of is this? For huh? him. Went to the store. Uh, I don't need the after action report. That was incredible. Danny motherfucking Brown. What a nice guy. Most wholesome moment we've seen on this show. Now let's let's get a palate cleanser with maybe a jar of piss and meth. Okay, then you're just not living. Okay, big girl. Doesn't pee or poop on herself. Okay, yeah. Just because you don't do that doesn't mean you're better than me. Is this all an act, or does meth do this to you? I haven't seen this from any of the other meth users. Oh, that was profound. What does that mean? Ten rifles. Did you I not hear her? Rifles are. Mark Wahlberg. Great so actor. <laughs> that that was the she nail in the coffin. I was gonna let her go until uh, she said Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Fuck that guy. She... What's going on, boys? We playing some slap ass? Oh man, they busted the entire pool party. So what makes these kids cool? Holy shit! <laughs> What's going on, boys? We playing execute some thirteen-year-olds today? This man comes in pumping it one-handed like Arnold. Hang on, just God stay damn. Tell you when to get up, okay? Finally, I get my itch scratched. So we're going to a civil disturbance. Lay it down for me, Fergal. Got a code-fied Fergalery back. going on. In progress. To let him go. Time to put the meat on him. They, I guess it's a neighbor dispute they've been having for the last Man, they really give him the shittiest one. cases. One, the neighbors are arguing. All right, get Fergal over there. Who cares? Hey, how you doing? Some things are maybe working on a little bit further. To the Sir, is this your wife? Or something, or... Yeah. Or is she single? Uh, oh. <laughs> are you alright? Are you okay? Yeah, she's... Alright, we'll go talk to them real quick. Fergal What's just happening? gets fetch quests. He gets literal tutorial level quests in an MMO. Talk to this person. Go back and talk to that person. He gets nothing but RuneScape quests, like a small favor. You still can't whip your cock out and pee in front of her. 
She was calling Unless you're me Officer up. Fergal. Mama, close your ears. She was calling me off. D I C K. You're not worried about my virgin ears? Come on. Well, man. yeah, oh, man. But that, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, Fergal. You just got but burged, got baby. Right. He didn't even do anything. <laughs> what did he solve? Ma'am, what did you do? I cranked my truck. All right, I'm going to go talk to the old people. What did she do? She's got cats. You're right. Case closed. You're welcome. <laughs> what an awesome fucking guy. I, I can't help but feel like Fergal's true talents aren't being tapped into, though. I feel he could be good in a chase, a shootout even, maybe even meth-related activity. I don't know. But we've only seen him deal with fetch quests, not any, like, raid-level material. Hopefully in Season 4 he'll roll around as a protagonist. What just happened? Is this cop getting arrested now? Come on, come on, come on, come on. But what about, what about the... <laughs> Fuck it. We've gone two and a half hours this episode with nothing happening. Fuck it. We were gonna arrest that man for smoking meth in his car outside of the gas station, but no one cares anymore. We got high intensity now. There's a man getting away on horseback. I see if we make contact. If he didn't drive off. What? Let's do this again. What just happened? Sorry about that, man. What kind of Groundhog Day shit is this? Does this guy have like the time stone, the infinity stone for time or something, and he's just like rewinding, but he's stuck in a time loop, getting arrested at the gas station? Where are you coming from? Why the fuck would this guy have stayed? I can tell you right now, this is not a hundred mile per hour crash. Okay, These cars would be vaporized. This is like a 15 mile per hour crash, maybe. It looks like that car just hit a really large bodybuilder. Like in a parking lot at a Crunch Fitness. It looks like Officer Garo came through here and just got mad and slapped the car's front. This guy's fucking Flintstone walking the car off to the side. Alright. So Ma'am, it turns out you're a fucking idiot. You have no idea what 100 miles per hour looks like, and I'm arresting you for it. Don't you ever lie to me again. Well, definitely can't watch that on Twitch. I thought that said Live PD. I must have misread that. <laughs> Jesus. He literally lists like the five things like immediately that I cannot watch on Twitch. He's been decapitated. It's squirting blood. There's also tits in the background. And there's porn. Weed from yeah, 10 years ago? This is gonna be a big bust, I feel it. It's gonna be Delgado's crown jewel. Go oh, get it. What is he doing? Threatening to electrocute the teddy bear? This is what I imagine, like, super geniuses and philosophers used to look like. Like, in my head, whenever I hear or read something about, like, Socrates or Aristotle, I envision a man that looks like this. What was he saying? Why is everyone shirtless in this neighborhood? I know you do. How would you know that, officer? You sensed it? I got a tingle on my wiener and I knew there was a blade nearby. I've studied in the finest arts of Bushido. Oh, goddamn. Good call. Is that a band's t-shirt? Louder Manlet? Has anyone ever heard their music? Yeah, you don't have to say anything. What are those? <laughs> I don't even know them. Damn, this kid studied it. He's not only studied the blade, he's studied the at, Constitution. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Fourth Amendment is not the right to not say anything. He's gonna go to jail. It'll be but what about his mother? System, and his he invoked his 16th Amendment, which was to get his mommy on the scene. Also, long live loud manlet. You Rock on, baby. Shattered. The description's a lot cooler the than the episodes. The Fourth is search and seizure, and the 15th is the right to vote for African... Americans. What do you know about dealing drugs and being under pressure? Perhaps that's the, the exact amendments he wanted to uh, invoke. You don't know. Maybe that got him out of a harsher sentence. We'll just, uh, get him out. What did he pull him over for? Go Failure to do a kickflip or something? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Snorting yeah. heroin? It's a probable cause search. What? Now, she's gonna search you. Now, I didn't even know you could snort heroin. We are living in the future, baby! I thought you had to inject that shit. She's got a... 
two bindles. So Are you, is he just making there, up words right now? Teeth. We got hey, five bushels uh, worth of meth. meth. Whole time you ain't been cooperative. I got nervous. You got nervous. Stopped him for That was his mic drop. You got nervous. So she ended up finding I'm going home. In her brawl. <laughs> I've said my piece. Meth. Oh goddamn! You're right. Monster stickers all over this bitch. Is he pulling over Kojima? Who's in this? Oh! I never even noticed the shirt. Hold on. She has one of those targeted advertisement shirts. The one that's like, "I am a war veteran and I love my daughter. And if you ever break my daughter's heart, I'm gonna fuck you so hard that not even God can find your body." What does her shirt say? I am the psychotic bitch. Tattooed mom everyone warned you about. I can't believe people actually wear these fucking shirts in public, man. I am so glad that they're as popular as they are, but I can never wrap my head around why anyone would wear that in public and not feel embarrassed and shameful. I think this is it. I'm a mild man, but interrupt my bowling and you unleash the demon. And there's some, like, caps-locked worms in there or something. I think this is it. I don't even know where I'd find it, but it's something like that. That was a bold move, going into Google Images like that. No holds barred. That has bested many a streamer with random tits on Google Images. That's my risk taken for the day right there, baby. That was, that was a big move. But yeah, that was the shirt. It was like, I, I'm a soft, tender man, but if you interrupt my bowling, I'll beat your ass or something. Devil Satan is he did it or whatever. I well, Satan know. is a crafty man. It, it could have been Satan. Okay. Where's she at in the house? Let's right not now. rule that She's out yet. That's the Harry forehead sounds like a cryptid, like Slender Man Where are you coming or from, Harry sir? Hands. Good evening. Oh, they just want to put him through an FST. Yeah. yeah, make him walk a straight line. I'm gonna have you do the one leg stand. No, that's boring. Okay. That's so boring. No, I can't do that. All right, what do you want me to do? One leg stand. Okay. I'm 61 years old. No, no, one okay. leg stand, not one night stand. Yeah, I mean, no you could not back. fuck these officers. No, well, the per tradition, I'll guess the BAC, because I'm pretty good about that. I'm you going with a point two four. He ain't wrong. Okay. No, fuck Listen. drunk drivers, hey, man. Fuck anyone who drinks and drives. Fuck I'm that. This guy deserves it. He can suck my you. dick. Put the goddamn breathalyzer in his butthole and make him fart into it. I guessed a point two four, and I want to see it come up point two four. Oh, is this guy gonna peel out of here in some type of Need for Speed shit? Woo! He's fucking out, ski. God damn! He's peeling out, baby. Ooh, I can't see it, officer. Did he lose control or did they fucking bump his ass real hard? Oh god damn! It was just a ruse! His car is fine! I don't know what the fuck that officer was thinking, trying to do like a stunt over the hood. Damn, this dude's using fucking GTA cheat codes to fire his car back up. Ooh, that's a bold strategy. Oh, there's more than one! And everyone's ignoring the guy in the passenger seat. He should be the one running right now. <laughs> Quick, get the guy running! Ignore the guy that's standing still! Where is he taking cover in an old witch's house? What is this? Oh, they even brought him a ladder. Other multiple charges. What about his friend in the passenger seat? Did they say anything about him or did they forget that he surrendered? No one- The man surrendered and no one went to like, accept his surrender. <laughs> he just forgot about him. What do you mean there was a man in the passenger seat? Let me see that footage. Shit, bury it. Bury it. We can't let people know. We forgot one. It's not gonna be any drugs in the car, is there? Oh, <laughs> what? Huh? That was a nice little taint well, massage on the way up. Right that was oh, thorough. Yeah. On his jacket. It's not his Fucking jacket. slid his hand up there like a credit card. His jacket is it? Amen. That's how we do it in Tulsa, baby. This is his sister's car, and she is. Step out of the car no, so I, I can talk not. to you. I will not without another police officer. Okay, I can tell you I'm concerned <laughs> that you're gonna take. This off isn't Brazzers, lady. One police officer is more than enough for this hey, job. Get your seatbelt off. Hey. 
I'm gonna put my hands on you unless no! you put the cigarette Don't down now. Me! She sounds like she's like acting Don't in a play for Don't! high school. Every time you touch 68, I got Teddy here running. Holy lord, they're coming after the trailer park boys. Get down on running from down. Put your hands behind your back. I ain't even running as he's taken off. I'm not going anywhere, you're going somewhere. They finally caught the elusive Teddy. What the fuck is that a tattoo of? Two banana peels having sex? What the fuck is that? I couldn't make that out at all. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. That was his sister. That way it's documented. I'm gonna take all of it, turn it in as evidence. <laughs> he got shot in the ass cheek He's almost. Going to jail for no, that's the worst charges. spot to get tased. You get tased in your ass cheeks, next thing you know, your sphincter's all spazzing out and shooting shit out. Rough situation all around. Why are his windows so cloudy? Jesus Christ. It's like I'm looking into a crystal ball. Stop it! I know the law is worse! I know the law, that's why I'm breaking it by selling meth to my own child. Without them badges, y'all ain't Probably not. Step up in there. Well, that was pretty honest from the cop. Yeah, if I wasn't a cop, I'd probably still be getting bullied. Sure you would. Yeah, probably right, actually. He starts walking. He whips his out right here in front of all these kids. What? And just sitting here, just, you know, peeing on the gate and looking at the kids. Which way are you It sounds like they're just making it up like the Sasquatch. Like some type of cryptid or something, like Slenderman, like the pedophile Slenderman dick slinger. And then, like, so he started walking. Who would do that? Just pull out your dick again. It worked with the kids. It'll work on the officer. The pursuit gone. This is it. Oh my God! This is gripping already. A high-speed pursuit to kick this shit off. Now we're cooking Bridgeport. That's what I like to see. This better be meth fueled. Wait, what happened? Wait, oh, this is domestic issue. Okay. I never really enjoy the domestic issues on Live PD because that's just, you know, that's not what I come here for. I'm here for meth, police chases, and shit like that. Domestic abuse shit, you can find plenty of it on Twitch already. Like, that's just kind of redundant. I'm here for, like, the shit you can only see on Live PD. Wait, they're just stealing from him? Hey, where do you keep the money? Hey, pussy boy, where's your safe at? What's the combo? Give him the combination, then. Can't we look in the safe to make sure? Because we're going to get in. This seems like something out of a movie where these are like the actual thieves pretending to be cops right now, trying to wiggle the combination out of the innocent guy. Like some Ocean's Twelve shit. All right, I'll cue that up. I always like when someone from the chat was on live PD. I think that's always the most fun thing. Like last time we had the guy and his uncle on live PD. It adds a little bit of like personality to it. Like, I'm a little more invested in the characters. Through the yard. Holy shit. Are you sure this is your your high school crush's mom doing this and not like a stunt driver? Get out of my way! I wish this was on live PD. Now, the old soccer mom mobile has got some get up and go to it. She was busting ass through those lawns. I can't believe this is your friend's mom. That's fucking awesome. I'm rooting for her. Well, not really. She seems like a total bitch for endangering this many people, but I can't help but care about her right now because, like, I feel, like, proximally attached to her because she's your friend's mom. Oh, baby, she's really going for it. Oh! That was one of the best moves I've seen in real life. The old backdoor reach around right out of GTA. Wow. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, I'm liking the little co-op mode we have going here. Player 2 is lagging behind a little bit. They need to step their shit up. But player 1's right on her ass. Fuck yeah. Next time you see her, tell her she's a big asshole, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. But, a great driver. Oh baby, the guitar riffs are kicking in. Coming in with the condom off, baby. Nuts to butts. 
Keep going, keep going. The cameraman's trying to be on the force now to be helpful. Hold my camera. I used to run track in high school. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog's after him. What? This sounds like he's starting like an optional side quest in Fallout. Who is the killer clown? This is suspicious. Alright, hidden quest unlocked. Find the killer clown. The cameraman is fucking awesome. This dude chases the criminals too. That's a Fox 11 chase. Their caster is so much worse than the ABC7 guy, Chris. Is there some Wu Tang, Smooch, and Dick? And Wild Hearts is good, yeah. I've enjoyed it so far. Did he run out of gas? I don't know, we don't have a, a, a commentator here to explain what's going on. We need Chris. So, yep, he absolutely ran out of gas, it seems. <laughs> Man, you're gonna have to fire on the turbo boosters of your ankles there to really start pushing this bitch faster. He forgot to fill up his tank before engaging in the high-speed pursuit. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully they don't charge that guy as like an accomplice. I don't think they knew that this was a, uh, <laughs> a police pursuit. Next three sub T's, Sheep, Lacuna, Top Hat, Savage, Rich, and the Prime Zig. And yeah, I know that channel, Tito. Next is a bit silly. I've actually seen that video too, it was cool. Next three sub Eustis. Is this even a police chase at this point, or did we just happen to see some guy's car run out of gas? Nope, here they come. Damn, this guy's fast. Holy shit. Move over, Ezra Miller. Wow. Look at him go. That dexterity build. He's gonna hop it. Oh! So graceful, too. Now they'll never catch him. Is the officer really not gonna jump over that? <laughs> Damn, he's he's gone. We lost him. <laughs> he could be anywhere now. Wow, they actually... Yeah, wow, he's like, nah, I'm not doing that. Not worth my time. What does he keep doing with his hands? Is he tweaking? Like, I thought he was, like, trying to tell the officer to calm down or something, but this guy's still doing it to, like, ghosts. No, there is no volume. It's just, it's, they don't have audio for this. They don't have a caster or anyone in the chopper. Seven Eleven, baby. He's made it to safety. Things that resub Cheetah... Carlito, Mikey, Father, Laggy, Wet, Kaiser, Clog, and Tier 1 Massive in the Prime Loca in Alto.
Oh shit, he's bolting out of there again. That'll be the last time you ever see him. He's done it again. Oh, are they boxing him in? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't engage in a foot race with this guy. It'll be the last mistake you ever make. Oh! Oh! Here comes, here comes the dodges. Some broken tackles. Oh, you had the taser out. Damn. They got him. Not even he's slippery enough to get out of this one. Thanks the resub jet, dreadnought, dynamic, and golem. Could have jumped the fence. This guy could hardly jog. I think there is a 0% chance he could have jumped that fence. He couldn't outrun Peter Griffin. <laughs> hey, he almost did. He almost pulled it off. Things are said glump, cipher, and the bit, Sylvie. And beef. No, I'm definitely doing the English dub for it. I, I want to hear the cheesiness. Thanks to the bits, Tito. I don't know if I'll do that, Tito, but I have. I'm very familiar with the channel. He's a tier one gray. Atomic Heart's writing is so bad it makes Forspoken look like The Last of Us. Jesus, that's a that's a big statement. Maybe Sylvie, we'll see. He's a tier one Larry Bird. And yeah, I've seen a couple of those at the kin. Did you know that next year's Capcom Cup 10 Street Fighter 6 prize pool is 2 mil? Yeah, I mean, I watched Capcom Cup this year, so... I stayed up to date. Still really want a moist esports presence in Street Fighter 6. Things are the bits carp and bob. You can say fucking. This is a high octane situation. Go ahead and drop that fucking. No fucking. They won't respect you if you're saying fricking. That guy has hair like a newborn baby. That's a bang bang. That's a bang bang. Why is this guy talking like a child? Is that a fricking bang bang on the chair? I almost shit in my diaper. Voice crack. Shit in my diapers in that booster seat. We saw a lot of no-no powder in there. You freaking bad boys. Sons of a gun. I gotta say, you might be freaked on this one. You got a bang bang and some crystal meth. Jesus, it's Mike again! This is just a montage of Mike. Freaking Mike, man. About to lay down that frick sauce all over these hooligans. You know how angry that makes me? He might just say, fuck. You might push him to say a bad word. 
Win the frick. He doesn't seem very offended. <laughs> that guy's just like, well, I just wanted to be on camera. I don't care. But oh, another frickin' gun, come on now. Bang bangs. Right, let's get some more mic out here. I guarantee it's a fourth mic. Come on now. He's the only deputy in Georgia. Damn it. Where's Mike? Execute out. You're not allowed to breach unless Mike is there. It's in the Constitution. Nice CS go skin on that Desert Eagle. What is that, sandblasted? You caught a cool Desert Eagle skin that you didn't pay for on the Steam Marketplace. That's a good day, yeah. Didn't even need to go to like a CS go lottery place either, so that's not bad. Mike! Mike is like the only goddamn deputy in Gwinnett County. Holy shit, you commit a crime, Mike's coming at you like Bloody Mary through a mirror. This dude's everywhere at once. You guys freaking fucking in here or something? What's going on? What in tarnation? Where's the spoons at? If there's no spoons, then you have no probable cause. The spoon's the most important ingredient in this soup. Ah, oh, there's the spoon. I found it. Yep, they're fucked. If you're gonna roll with your needles and heroin, at least don't bring the spoon. Except for this. this what is this? Foot fetishism? I hope by splinter she means like there's a giant rat gnawing at her feet. It's kind of fucked up. Come on now. She's clearly in pain. Don't be making Ninja Turtle jokes. My job's pretty weird as it is. This is, uh, gotta be the weirdest thing I've done. <laughs> okay. Mr. Vanilla over here, missionary only sex style kind of guy. You never plucked a splinter out of an old woman's foot before on the job? Okay. Basic bitch. Huh, I thought she was like alcohol poisoned, but she just seems relatively drunk. <laughs> She's just trying to single out Steve. Trying to cop some dick out here. See you later, boys. Turn that camera off. <laughs> Flops his dick out. It's like a dog to her. We gotta get you in your house. Can I ask you, buddy? Vanilla? Seriously? Yep, you're arrested for bad taste, son. Hey, what's up, punk? Buster, you trying to throw dick out here? Wow, this guy looks like a taller, fatter version of the cop that's arresting him. Well, I can't see his face, but I'm just going by both being bald. What the fuck? Are all of these officers and the guy that they pulled over just clones? Like one guy playing all of these roles in the play? Destroy it. See all the white stuff in there? <laughs> and black stuff and all? That's, that's methamphetamine. I, I stole it, ran away, because I was going to destroy it in the flames of Mordor, okay, where it was created. It's the only place powerful enough to melt it. The one meth pipe to rule them all, officer. Got the uh, sexual device. Yeah, a cock ring! And then, uh... My like man. Also, also got some baggies in here. Why did he put a cock ring with his meth? Why would you want meth Looking wrapped around your dick? Here, I can see there. Uh, must have been a real hot girl named Pooh. Ah. I bet she really loved honey too, eh? I'm making a bold prediction. It's gonna be meth related. Can you come over here and talk to me? Fucking headlights malfunction. All of a sudden, you're locked into a Simon Says game of life and death. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Get this man some Pedialyte. Shoot him with a Pedialyte bullet. That'll fix him right up. It's like a panacea. He is a great father. <laughs> he looks like it. He's eating dirt. He's so fucking drunk. He's trying to get some nutrients out of the soil. Does he live here? So this guy is dating the other dude's wife. This guy looks like Greek god right now. 
Where does I'll, I'll, I'll get oh, so they're not together anymore. Well, he's shitting his pants, guys. Can you can we get a better yeah, angle here, a more flattering one, so we don't see the Hershey stains? I mean, can't leave the babies. He's, he's drunk. He's drunk. And he's not you have your boyfriend you. living with you and your husband. Uh, yeah, that's there. some 2019 but guy cucking happen. right there. Normally, night, um, we haven't been together in a while. Mm -hmm. Actually, about two months. It looks like a pretty mutual so, thing. They seem um, to be handling it about the same. It's like he's playing Quop in real life. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's got a fucking grenade launcher. Probably got one man army perk with him as well. The car is in park. What could possibly warrant a potential grenade launcher encounter? Unless well, it's gonna be like Power Rangers where Rita supersizes the villain. Oh, it has bean bags? Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense. That's a really intimidating design for a bean bag launcher. They should put it in like a Gatling gun or something even scarier. Or like a flamethrower type deal. Like a giant pack of bean bags. You're 15 years old, bro. You're doing wheelies down 19. Which means he's destined for greatness. Right? I mean... That's like all the ingredients to being the next uh, Travis Pastrana. Put that. Modded moped. Is it the same kid? Well, he's a box. <laughs> yeah, it's a Minecraft character. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? A coffin on wheels? I appreciate you. This is a really cool design. It's right here. He should sell this. Okay, everything's good. Make him pay any more money than he needs to. Oh, look at him peel out. Fuck, that's cool. It looks like something you'd find in the Dead Rising series to go across the mall in. Where's your supervisor? This is man. man. Supervisory you guys, duty. Get your supervisor Lower, lower your voice for you go. Get your supervisor. Quit. Man, this is like every GameStop mom ever. What do you mean you're only giving me $3 for this brand new video game my son doesn't want? You're gonna go down for Give me the regional Stop. district manager. ASAP. I'll stay here all day. Who is this? The Deep from The Boys? We got a celebrity bust coming in? So I got some Chase Crawford? And most majority cannot pass this test. It's hard to argue with that kind of logic, to be honest. You want to hold your left foot up? One, two, three. Four, not bad. Five, six, That's a new PB. Seven, He's going for the speedrun world record, baby. <laughs> what is it? I have no idea. It could be dust or something. It's a <laughs> bag of dust. I keep. It's my lucky dust bag that I put in my wallet. No, it's not drugs. Well, you don't keep dust? Why? What the f? This just looks like they're committing a crime on camera. <laughs> hey, don't film this camera guy. It's off, right? This dude has some nice Yu Gi Oh cards in the back seat. We're gonna grab him. Step out of the car, leave everything in the car. There Whoa, cool seat covers. What hair metal band album is that from? You got your ID on you? <laughs> Did this officer order a male stripper or something? What is this? They cut you off or something? This is what I don't understand about YouTube Recommended. I watched two G Time Johnny videos about masturbating spiritually in the woods or whatever, and now I always get G Time Johnny as my recommended. What is that? Is someone hitting a kazoo or a rubber chicken? It's like a bop it that's malfunctioning. God, he sounds like a Sesame Street character. Give him a Snickers bar. He's not him when he's hungry. Mostly insomnia? I guess that would make sense, yeah. The cameramen for this show are always more jacked than the officers. Like, there was also that tattooed monster Goliath cameraman from a few episodes back. Like, they just have a crew of, like, strong cameramen. Make us uh, artificial urine. That's used for people who have to pass a drug Hey, Mom, I finally made it. My artificial urine business is booming. We sold ten artificial urine can cans this week. <laughs> the dog's like, what do you mean, meth pipe? I haven't, I haven't used that in years. It's not mine, officer. I've been framed. This right here is sweet. Oh, Rebecca's having such a good time listening to the meth addict. Oh. So I'm going to Crackheads tell the best stories, don't they, Rebecca? So she's being pretty unreasonable. She's really into Which is why I decided to just execute her. I like to have fun on the job, but when you're gonna be an asshole, Rebecca's putting you down. 
You hide your weed in a tackle box? Yeah, that's a pretty obvious place. I'd say hide it in a sex toy. A lot of people are like hesitant to touch those. And make sure it's like constantly lubed. No one's going near it. No, wh where, where did that come from? Wait, what the fuck? Was that like sleight of hand? Did he pull it out of his own asshole? Where did that come from? Did he pull it out of his ear? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just stay, just stay right there. Oh, okay, there it is. I thought it was like one of those birthday party magic tricks. Instead of pulling out a quarter, he pulls out a bag of weed. When I was gonna go back and run his info, I was gonna come over here and get her ID. What and the see fuck her is the point in going and the story to the fucking was doing that, first it? two parking spots right, of a so supermarket to hit because heroin listen, and pass out? What's gonna happen is what the I'm fuck take is the jail, point? And then they're gonna strip search you. You may not want to go where I'm taking it out. So. Oh hell, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit. He wants to take us to a fuck house. Why is everyone trying to fuck us? I made a video covering this subject like six months ago, and it remains true to this day and actually is only increasing in frequency. For some reason, it feels like there's been a rise in police pursuits involving heavy machinery. Vehicles that you'd never expect to ever be involved in a high-speed pursuit have for some reason been constantly involved in high-speed pursuits. It's like something out of the Looney Tunes. I have no idea why. I'm sure not even God has an explanation, but I'm sure he's equally as entertained as I am by it because it is comical watching some of these. They're very low-speed pursuits, like the top speed for a lot of these machines is like 15, maybe 30. And I'm talking, you're seeing police pursuits of them trying to chase down a steamroller, a forklift, a bulldozer, a kill dozer, a front loader, a side loader, a back loader, a chode loader, like you name it, if it's got four wheels and weighs 50 tons, you can find a police chase with it over the last six months. It's happening all the time now. So I saw a front loader police pursuit the other day where one of the cops is talking to a worker and he's, you know, asking how fast do these puppies go and he says it can get up to like 30. He's like, 30? Zoinks. It's worse than I thought. Get in your front loader and help us chase this guy down. So he recruits this completely normal civilian who's just working, like he's at, the, he's at his job, tells him to get into his front loader so that way he can help chase down the bad guy's front loader. It's so weird. It's like a, like a kaiju movie where they recruit another monster to engage with it. Like, it's for no reason other than, I guess, good cinema. I have no idea. But I have to show you that clip. Also, I have to show you this other clip that I saw today about a guy who was trying to evade police and he hid behind a car in like the most obvious position imaginable and yet the cops didn't find him for like over a minute they swarmed the area around him and just kept walking right by it's like all of those scenes in a movie that get criticized when it's a stealth section where the the good guys trying to like take cover and like all the bad guys walk right by them and for some reason never see them. Or like in a video game when the AI keeps r like running right by the bush that you're peeking out of even though like you're in plain sight for some reason they're not alerted. Like I now start to believe those things after seeing this clip. Like that's no longer unbelievable to me because of what I've just witnessed with this guy's hiding spot. Oh yeah, I kept getting tagged in this all afternoon. It says, bro was one second away from losing four stars in GTA. I'm guessing it's like a really weird pursuit. I haven't watched it yet, but this must be popping. And it's been a little while since I've seen an interesting pursuit. Yeah, that's not true. We saw the one the other day with the guy in the bulldozer where the police told another guy in like a front loader to chase him down. Let's see if this beats that. And then you can see it right there, the suspect trying to get into somebody's property. Or this is like the end of the hide, pursuit, it seems, though. But, uh, doing a very, very poor job of it Terrible right there. Job. LAPD coming to a stop. Oh, come on, guys. He's right there. <laughs> the, the officer's running right by him. That's cute. They, they're, they're going right by him. Uh, our, 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 I'm sorry, uh, Angie, our pilot there... today talking on 02. Trying... And admittedly, from this angle, I wouldn't have thought to check behind that car either. I'd probably just run straight up there like an NPC, too, to be honest. Oh my goodness, I just feel so bad for those officers. Oh true, yeah, this is the news chopper, now. isn't it? It's the blue car. There we go. Somebody's getting somebody's getting the information. Somebody's got to be getting the information. Keep coming around, <laughs> Ange. Keep coming around. Keep coming around. That suspect unbelievable. Oh, he's gone prone. We're watching this live. And you have to understand that these officers, they don't know what the information that we know. But again, that LAPD helicopter just arriving. Holy shit, I'm never going to criticize video game AI ever again.
Oh wait, no, he's absolutely going to see him. Information. There you go. There you go. And now Busted. that suspect yeah, going pointed at him. Wow. Wow. Or not? They haven't Does seen he... him yet. Oh. This is unbelievable. There we go. <sighs> oh my gosh. What was this? Wait, what? Did this guy not see him? He's he's literally looking at him. Was he not alerted? <laughs> what the fuck is his field of vision? Be getting that information. He even like go. points at him, doesn't there he? You go. And now that suspect going into custody. Wow. Maybe did he deagro or something? How did this happen? He looked at him, pointed at him. He's like, oh, it must be behind this gate. <laughs> Shit! If only we could get through. Well, no, he's like literally pointing. You know, he must know. Why is he tugging on the gate? He pointed at him twice. I haven't seen him yet. This is. And then this guy points at him, he's like, oh yeah, you're right. They're playing on 30 FOV? I guess so, man. He's behind a tire too, partially out of view. That's what I was thinking, so I think his biggest mistake, if I was to, I don't know, be a, a criminal evading arrest tactician expert, I think his big, biggest mistake was going prone. He spread out his surface area, which made it a little easier to see him. I think that's the only reason he got caught, because this guy looked under the car and must have seen at least a piece of him. And then when they went to the gate, like maybe if he was still just crouching there, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> Perhaps. What he needed was one of those like ninjutsu smoke bombs. If he just had one of those in his pouch, like if he had put one of those in his loadout, he would have popped one right here, and he would have been fine. You see the footage of the bulldozer police chase from a week ago? Cops asked one of his co-workers to stop him and another bulldozer. Disgruntled former employee hijacks front loader and leads police on a slow speed chase. Why would they ask someone to try and stop him and another bulldozer? That just sounds like they were doing that for fun. How would that possibly give them any advantage? Stop! Stop! Oh shit, he's hitting stop. the turbo jets! Hey! Stop! Activating act afterburners. I mean, if you gave it a light jog, you could catch up. He's gonna go out the main road. Okay, so grab your machine. What is it? One of those things? How Yo. fast is it? What? what? They, can get, they can get up to probably about 30. 30? Uh, that. Quick, quick, quick. That heavy equipment can get up to 30? And also, why is he telling him to get in his heavy, ma heavy machine? I still don't understand the strategic importance of that. We're in front of Victory World Church on Brook Hollow. Oh God! Let them fight! Oh, he's hit, trying to hit him with a pit maneuver there with the bucket on it. Why, why did he tell the? Why did he tell him to get in the other bulldozer? What was the point? Or not bulldozer, front loader. I guess maybe flip it over. This is like a scene out of Godzilla Kong: New Empire. <laughs> the cops are just having fun. Flip him! Fucking flip him! Yeah! Yeah! Flip him! Nice! I wonder if that's textbook. They teach you that at the police academy? Whoops. When engaging in a slow speed pursuit with a front loader, try and find an equal front loader to try and flip it over or something. What was the guy even doing just cruising? I have no idea. That guy just peeled out and he said, I'm I'm not talking to you anymore. And he just left. And then started doing little donuts. That is until this vigilante came into the equation. I like the way he enters too. It's just very cinematic. That guy's getting a raise for this one. Bullshit. I'm actually worried for this guy's job security. Maybe they come after him next, like vigilanteism or something. They slap him with a fine. <laughs> and they told him to do it. You see the video of the thief disguised as a trash bag? Yeah, he's a copycat criminal. I saw. This guy just stole a page out of the playbook from the guy who did, did this exact same thing with the traffic cone. I mean, it could even be the same culprit, I suppose. We don't have any DNA evidence to link them. Toy Story crime? Yeah, basically. Same technique, everything. 
They must have trained at the same dojo. Raise Al Ghul trained them in the art of package theft. Prop hunt. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, kind of. It's unironically not the worst plan ever. Bro is not Solid Snake. <laughs>